Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about variables. Let's talk about a little bit what is a variable. So you need to know that we're going to use variables all the time. So it is really, really important to understand them completely. So what is a variable? First of all, we need to give our variable a name and set it equal to a value. That's really easy to do in Python. You just need to type three things: the name of the the sorry, the name of the variable, set it equal, and the value that is equal to. So, let's tell that our variable name is num1 that comes out for number one you can put whatever you want you can call your variable whatever name you want so let's say num1 let's say that is equal to and the value is going to be 10 okay so the name that is equal and the value now let's create another variable that we're going to call num2 and set it equal to 10 as well you can change those values of course if you want but stick with me for now and let's learn about something new for printing um, if we now print something what you know is that we can print like answer okay and when we hit f5 to run the only thing we're going to get is answer but why that happens okay that happens because we haven't told those variables what to do so to do that we're going to say the answer is we need now to put a comma here that's really important and type the variables name so in my case num1 plus num2 Okay, so before I run the program, you need to understand this thing completely. We have a variable that is equal to 10. We have another variable that is equal to 10 and we print the answer is... You have to put this comma here and the 10 thing about that is like telling 10 plus 10. So if I run the program now, you can see that the answer is 20. That's really cool, I think. But this is not the best way to do it. Or now it's the same thing. But if you want to use this num1 plus num2 a lot of times, you can do something else. So you can create another variable let's call it answer and say that the answer is equal to num1 plus num2 does that make sense okay so we did the same thing that we did um, before but inside the variable so what we can do here now is print that the answer is answer. So if I now run the program, you can see that the same thing happens, but I can do like I can print another thing. Let's print nice and answer. Okay, 
um, if we haven't set this variable this answer variable to num1 plus num2 we would have to print here nice num1 plus num2 so we can just create another variable answer that is equal to 10 plus 10 so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new variables are really something that you should understand completely because you're going to use variables thousands of times i will see you all in the next one bye bye